Hi, Steve here from photomasteryclub.com and in this quick Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a late afternoon kind of golden hour, nice hazy golden light effect in Photoshop on an image that you've shot in the daytime when the light wasn't as interesting. So for example, the image that's on the screen at the moment. But before we get into the tutorial, if you'd like to become a member of Photo Mastery Club and get access to a whole library of courses and content on Photoshop and photography, as well as get personal one-on-one -on -one photography and Photoshop coaching from me, then just click the link below this video. But for now, here are the steps to create this golden light effect. So, like I said, the type of image this works great on is like a daytime image where the light wasn't really that interesting. Maybe you turned up a bit earlier uh, just to give yourself some extra time uh, to set up and everything and you fired off a few shots not the greatest light but you know you didn't want to throw the raw files away anyway uh, it's just like what happened here so this basically just gives you a way to sort of make something interesting from something that's not really that interesting so I'll just show you the steps on this photo and then you can pretty much just replicate this on your own images so the first thing that I'll do is add a new layer and I'm just going to grab the brush tool I've already got that selected and then I'm going to click on the uh, color picker there and I've already got like a nice warm light color selected so you know this is the kind of thing that you want to go for you can just use this color picker here to find a nice sort of light pale yellowy orangey color once you've got that selected just click OK and what we're going for here is like a really large brush and on about 30% opacity I'll just zoom out so that I can do this. What you want to do is just basically draw one big brush stroke from about here, just to the right of this lighthouse I'm, I'm uh, going to do this on, and just brush across the image to the right. So actually, if I just undo this quickly, what we can see here from looking at the way the light is falling on the lighthouse, we can tell the light is coming in from the right-hand side. So the sunset is going to happen over on the right-hand side of the frame. So with that in mind, this brush stroke here is basically creating, uh, like, well, it's basically faking the uh, the effect of having that light actually shining in and creating that hazy effect. So what you want to do, the first step is to basically create this uh, big long brush stroke across the image in the direction of where the uh, sun would be coming from. So that's one, I think, I can maybe get away with just another quick dab over here. So I'm going to make it stronger towards the edge of the frame. That might be getting a bit too much. So what we can do, you can always reduce the opacity there to sort of blend it in a little bit. So let's keep it around about there. That's not too bad. And now on the flip side of that, because we've brightened up the right hand side of the image, what we want to do as well now, just to kind of really accentuate that light coming in from the right hand side, is to darken the uh, the left hand side on the left of the image here. So I'll do that just with a curves adjustment. So I'll add a curves adjustment there. I'll pull the curve down a bit to darken the image. And then I'll just grab this control point here at the bottom and just move that up a little bit just to remove some of the contrasts in the uh, darkest shadows there. So let's have a look at that. Okay, now I can invert the layer mask. So Command or Control I to invert the layer mask and basically hide this effect we've just created. Now I can use a white brush to basically brush into the layer mask here and reveal this curves layer. So just applying that effect on the left hand side here of the uh, of the image. Let's just see the effect of that by doing a before and after. Okay, that's quite effective. So I'll just do a few more brush strokes here to really make the most of that. Now let's just see, you can always tweak the, uh, the curve after you've adjusted the layer mask. So maybe I'll just make it a little bit darker there. Okay, that'll do for now. Now what I think might look good at this stage is to add a uh, 
Orton effect layer. So I'll just do that by choosing select all, edit, copy merged, edit paste, and then filter. I'll use a Gaussian blur filter, 15 pixels. And then I'll put this uh, layer on soft light blend mode. Let me just uh, zoom out there to kind of help picture what that looks like. So yeah, I always find that zooming all the way out until the image is like a little thumbnail uh, in the middle of the screen, it helps kind of see, uh, it helps me see how the image is looking because when you're zoomed right in up close, it can be, uh, you know, you can get lost in the detail. Um, so this is a bit strong, so let's just reduce the opacity of this layer now. Okay, that's not too bad there. And now let's add one more layer. Um, and then we'll just go back to that light colored brush. And I'm just going to add in one more touch of light over here on the right hand side. But I'm going to do something a little bit differently this time. So I've I've added that brush stroke and my computer is having issues. Let me see. Okay, that's brought it back. And now I'm going to change this layer to um, either overlay or soft light just to toggle between those and see the effect that that's having and then just reduce the opacity to blend it in a little bit more. And I think that will do us there. That's just another subtle addition. Now, while you're doing this, you'll always have the option to go back and adjust some of these layers. So just looking at this now at the finished image, uh, I might just pull this effect back, this original layer one. So let's just reduce the opacity of that just to blend the effect in a little bit more naturally. And there we have it. So let's have a look. Let's do a before and after. So I'll just hide all of these layers now. And there we see quite a boring, flatly lit image, even though we can tell that the light is coming in from an angle by the way the shadows are falling on the lighthouse. It's not really that interesting a shot. Now with these four layers, we can see we've kind of created out of nothing, pretty much, this, uh, this golden late afternoon hazy light effect and then over here on the left whilst this might not necessarily be the most realistic amount of shadow uh, you know it does serve to accentuate the effect of this light coming in from the right hand side so there we go i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can find some uh, images of your own to use it on and make the most of it like i said at the start of the video if you want to join photo mastery club and become a member so you can uh, you know, get access to a whole host of courses and uh, tutorials and we've got a community forum there as well and also you can get personal one-on-one -on -one coaching from me uh, with your you know to help with your Photoshop and photography and improving and getting to where you want to be with that then just click the link below this video and I'll speak to you soon